So I emailed him and said, hey, I'm an art teacher at the high school. I heard you're interested in collaborations. I am too. So he responded back to me. We met up a couple times over the summer and talked about our students and said, you know, let's do art prize together. Like, really? What is all of that? Basically teach the students how to make these luminaries. So he's been coming over to the school, to the high school. It's Land Community High School. He's been coming over every day to help my students work on building their luminaries. I have been very smart with very limited funding to bring in the outside community to help kind of co-teach these classes. I mean, kind of brilliant of you to reach out and see how you can get the community to make this class happen. Yeah, I don't think they, they should miss out because it's something that they have nothing to do with. You know, they deserve the same quality education in the arts as everyone else does, all the other school districts around us. So it's like, okay, I can't pull it out of my pocket. The district doesn't have it right now. But there are people in the community that are willing to come in and share their talent and their resources with my kids. So that's what I reached out to. and. Mark and so many other people have been so open to the whole idea. My kids went over to U of M, had dinner with them, with the luminaries lit up and finished up their projects. So. I'm just really excited. They're excited. I didn't sleep last night. They were texting me all night. They didn't sleep last night because <laughs> they're so excited. <laughs> so it's just great. It's just great. Is that this project got them out of their comfort zone? Because it's something, because it's something that nobody was comfortable with at first. But as you can tell, everybody did it, and they all came out really good. You made it was at a point to where Mark didn't help at all. That people started asking me for help because it's like we made that. I'm not an art person, but when we come to this project, we both don't know what we're doing. This honestly teaches you a lot about like compromising and like maybe your partner wants something, but you don't want that. Like, how are you going to talk through that? Because when I made mine, it didn't turn out exactly what I wanted it to be, but it ended up turning into something better, I guess.